All right, so what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Now today we're doing something a little bit different. As you can tell, we are on the next gen version of GTA Online. I personally am really excited for this. I've been playing GTA 5 and GTA Online since it came out almost nine years ago. And I know a lot of people aren't exactly happy about uh, having the next gen GTA. They want GTA 6. But for me personally, I don't mind. I really, I just love this game. Ooh, look at this. So online or story. I mean, I didn't buy the story because um, I only play online, really. So we should go with online. My great profile. Wait, it's how is it detected my PlayStation? Oh, because the social club. <laughs> I'm stupid. Yes, I'm definitely going to migrate. You're about to permanently remove your GTA Online profile from a previous generation and move it to this console. Overwriting existing... So does this mean that I can't go back to the old gen version and play on that if I migrate to the next gen version? I'm going to do it, but if that's true, why? <laughs> why is that a thing? Like, I don't get it. Why is Rockstar's, like, migration system so weird? All right, great success. Let's go. So now we will continue with this character and we'll get into the game. Let's go. Already got an achievement. I'm so goated. It's just how good I am. I'm just so good at this. Oh, I'm just going to get loads of achievements, aren't I? Because I've played this game already. It's a brand new... Oh, fuck off with you. This is going to take forever. Okay. All right. See you guys soon. This is going to go on for 34 achievements. Why? Kill me. Wait, is it done? Oh, my God. It's done. Let's go. Right, so let's get into it. I mean, from what I've seen so far for this next gen upgrade, it doesn't look that much different. I think the main thing is they're trying to get sales and also technical improvements, I guess. I mean, if you are a GTA fan or player, you'll know of the like, you know, graphics mods that exist for GTA and some of them look fantastic. Um, okay, so here we are. And, yeah, this game doesn't look that much different, I'm going to be honest. It's a good thing this only cost me £8, because um, if I had to spend, like, 30, 40 quid on something that looks literally no different, I would have been very upset. But, anyway, here we are. Uh, this game is really loud. Give me a second. Right, so here we are in the world of GTA. Uh, next gen. Third generation of this game has been around, and... It doesn't look that much different, I'm going to be honest. Um, I mean, it does It does seem a bit sharper, I'm going to be honest. I don't know if... Ow, what are you doing? It's me, Lazarus. Fuck off, are you? Who are you? It does seem a little bit sharper overall. Like, only a, a tiny bit does it look a bit sharper. But other than that, I mean, it looks exactly the same. Like, this game is literally the same game. I don't know what's going on. Right, anyway, um, as you can see in the top right, I have 6.9 million. Nice. Um, I believe there's some new cars to check out. So, part of Xbox Series. Ooh, the Cyclone 2. Look at that. That is, wow, that's very nice. I'm going to be honest. The Fist Astron Custom. What the? And Southern San Andreas. The Karen S95 is free. And there's also this muscle car thing. And I swear there's one more. Is that? Ooh, what the fuck? A weaponized Ignis. What the hell? I mean, this is probably one of my favorite cars in the game. It's just, they added a turret to this up and made it 3 million. All right, that's interesting. Right, so just this video, we're going to do the Cyclone 2. I think this is based off of the, um, uh, the Remat Concept 2. That's what it's called. Right, so there's a car somewhere that we can drive from Howe, which is over there. Okay, we'll go over there then. So, is there a way I can turn on 120 hertz, or is it already on? Because, to be honest, it just seems like 60. Uh, is there a performance mode somewhere, or graphics mode, fidelity, performance, performance. Right, let's do that. Oh! Oh my god, that's so good. Holy shit. Oh my god, that is beautiful. I don't know if, if it's coming through on the video, because I don't... I don't. <sighs> okay, that's worth it. That's so worth it. Holy shit, 120 hertz is beautiful. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, I don't think this is coming through on the video, unfortunately. I'm sorry about that, but... If you have an Xbox Series X and you have and you have the capabilities for 120 hertz, get it, because it's so fucking good. Right, so anyway, we're at the garage. Howl's Garage. What's he let? It better be a fucking remat concept too, whatever it's called. The Cyclone. Why am I froze? I can't. I 
can't move. Cool. All right, that's nice. I thought I was uh, frozen. Ooh, hello. Right, so this is a Turismo classic um, from the original, like, you know, the, the last gen game. Um, I think this is one of these cars that has the speed upgrades. But look, oh shit. Right, let's go. Let's see how good these speed upgrades are. Okay, this is pretty quick. This is pretty quick. Fucking hell. Oh, no. Okay, I crashed. <laughs> okay, I haven't, I haven't actually played GTA in a long time, so... The performance, the handling does feel different. I mean, I don't know if it's just genuinely because I haven't played this game in a long time or... Oh, no. Okay. All right, fucking hell. I'm sorry. I'm trashing your car, mate. I don't know if this is going to end up being mine or what, but... I'm trashing your car, sorry. So in terms of actual graphics for this game, um, it doesn't look much better. Like, it, it's not that the game looked bad to begin with. I mean, GTA 5 on Xbox One and PS4 actually looked pretty good, especially for the time. Um, I think this is just a, a sort of general slight upgrade on the graphics. Like, maybe if I saw the game side by side, then the graphics on this game would look better. I think, oh shit, I think they do look better, but... It's not as huge of an improvement as I think people are expecting. Especially with all those graphics mods and shit that uh, um, for PC of this game. And they just look incredible. Like, they don't even look like next-gen games. They look like, you know, future, like, next next-gen games. Oh, we were actually getting somewhere. Shit! Fuck's sake. But to be honest, I'm not really disappointed with the graphics of this game because, um, one, you don't really need graphics to be a good game. Like, just look how well GTA has done throughout almost an entire decade, and it's still one of the most popular games in the world. But also, th this 120 FPS, oh my god, I wish I wish it would come through on the vi- Fuck's sake. I wish it would come through on the video because I, I don't know if it will or not, but it, it looks fantastic. It's so- it's just so good to look at, honestly. It's beautiful. To be fair, though, I, actually looking at it now, I, I would say there are some graphical improvements. Um, like, reflections on the car definitely look better. Like, the, you know, the ray, ray tracing next gen. Um, but I, I don't know if the actual graphical fidelity itself has improved. It, it probably is, like, 4K resolution. But I feel like it's just upscaled. It's not actually, like, native 4K. There were some other changes as well for this game. Like, they increased the vegetation on the map and they increased the traffic. I feel like those are just a story mode. Like, I'm not noticing much of a difference in this uh, online version of the game. Um, which is sort of weird in my opinion. Like, I don't know why they would improve the map for story mode, not uh, online, sorry. That just doesn't make sense to me. It's just a shame that not everyone can get their hands... Oh, fucking hell. I hate this shit. I, I don't know if I'm I'm terrible now or the game is just working against me. <laughs> oh, look at that sunset. Sheesh. Right, we beat his time by a mile. Fucking hell. <laughs> what an idiot. Right, so we got a discount on his workshop. The work service is unlocked. Uh, uh, stuff. Okay, well. No, to be fair, I am seeing the the uh, the graphical upgrade. Um, I, I think it's just something that you wouldn't notice instantly. Like, it's not a huge upgrade, so it's not something you notice instantly. But if you put the game side by side, I'm sure that there would be a difference. And by the way, this car is so fit. Oh, my God. This is beautiful. Look at that. Right, so is this house workshop? I know this is the car meet, but is this workshop inside or where? What the fuck? Shut the fuck up. Right. Um, how do I get to house workshop? Is it even in here? Uh, am I am I a complete moron? I think I am. Oh my god, bro, wait! Holy shit, look at this paint job. Yo, that's fucking sick. Look at that. Oh my god. Is that the like next gen like Bro, that is fantastic. Oh my god, look at the license plate as well. Is the back one different? No. Look at that paint job. That is fucking amazing. Oh, is this house workshop? Oh, so the, the standard, like, workshop in here is now house. Okay. So, performance upgrade, acceleration. Oh my god, there's two bars of acceleration. Fuck me. Right, have a look at those paint jobs. A chameleon. Oh, the gold. Oh, that looks like proper gold. Here's the old gold, if you're, if you're interested. There's the OG gold, which it's all right. It doesn't look bad. And then you go to chameleon. Look at that. That is beautiful. Then we have the green and blue, purple, red. There's more purple. That. Oh, that is beautiful. I love that. That's so sick. 
And you got this, that. Ooh, that one's quite nice. So these are all the paint jobs. Bro, honestly, these paint jobs are fucking fantastic. Like, they are so cool. What does Chrome look like on next gen? Let's have a look. Eh, it looks like normal Chrome. Right, now we're done. Uh, let's have a look at this car. I mean, honestly, I, I love it. It's beautiful. I kind of actually... I wish there was a better spoiler for the rear end. Like, I feel like it could look better, but at the same time, it still looks really good. So we're just going to leave now. Right, so now we're outside. I actually kind of wish I didn't have these skirts on because they're just unnecessarily huge. But whatever, it's fine. So we're going to see how quick this thing really is uh, just here. Let's go. Fuck it. Let's just do it. Oh, my God. Oh, holy shit. Okay, I've already crashed. Oh, no. Right, so this thing accelerates pretty quickly. Fuck me. Look at this. <laughs> oh my god, this is insane. Right, um, let me take these skirts off real quick. Give me a sec. Right, I need to do that again because honestly, that acceleration was just nuts. Let's back it up a little bit. Honestly, I, I can see why they didn't have these speeds on uh, the previous gen consoles because it probably would have destroyed the console. Let's just do it again. Let's go. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, that is insane how quick that is. I'm usually not a fan of motion blurring games, but I mean for a game like this, like where you're just driving around, it actually it makes it look more cinematic, you know, it makes it look better. But holy shit, this thing is so quick. It that is insane. I'd like to know what other cars have the uh the speed enhancements because I wonder if if the Ignis has it, that'd be really cool. The uh the Lamborghini Cyan. Oh shit. Okay, this is probably the quickest accelerating car in the game right now. I, it wouldn't surprise me because I don't think any electric cars in the old game came close to this. Like this, this is insane. I can't even control it. What's the point? This thing is almost too quick for this map. Like it's like I try and accelerate around a corner and I just like almost crash. Like this map wasn't designed for this speed. Like it's unreal. Right, so there's a computer over here. Is this where the list? Here we go. Right, so the Sentinel, the Hakachu, the Turismo Classic, the Banshee, the Cyclone 2. Alright, so no, the Devastator does not have a speed upgrade. It looks like it's pretty much completely all new vehicles. The Hakachu, the Turismo, the Banshee. That's it, I think the rest are literally just new vehicles. That's, that's kind of shit, to be honest. They should have put them on, like, most weapons, most uh, vehicles. But anyway, I think that's where I'm going to end the video for today. Um, I don't really have anything else to say about the next-gen uh, upgrades so far. I mean, I don't really make GTA Online content at all. I've made a couple videos on GTA, and that's about it. I mean, to say that this game is one of my favourite, if not my favourite games of all time, that is a bit of an understatement. Like, I just adore this game. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make more videos on it, though, because, obviously, I'm more of a Call of Duty-focused channel if i try and start mixing games it's just it's just gonna be a bit weird but if you guys want to see more of this game then let me know down below because i'll be more than happy to record it but anyway that's gonna do it for today's video thank you guys very much for watching if you've enjoyed it make sure to leave a like and also subscribe if you are new around here and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next one